there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Passage of Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Humble PlayStation Bundle, well, Humble Indie PlayStation Bundle 2019. Uh, Humble Bundle does do a regular enough bundle for consoles, specifically for the PlayStation. Last while, we've actually had Capcom. We've actually had specific Resident Evil bundles. Now, they're doing an indie bundle, which is going to be from a, a couple of different developers, a couple of different um, groups and people. And um, because they're indies, they're not going to be the, the top AAA titles, but there could be something very interesting in here. And as always, it's good to give, because Humble Bundle specifically gives as much as you're willing to give out of your ratio of cash you give for the games for a uh, charity and for themselves but obviously for charity as well which is the important one which we all really is what we care about uh, personally i actually give to the charity and i give to farset labs which is a local hacker space a work co-working space that's actually here in northern ireland that's the ones i give to and of course i give to the developers and a little bit to humble as well whenever i give yeah you, know, you can get all these titles everything we're about to show for $15 is actually like the minimum for everything, but give what you can, give what you want, and give what you think it's worth. That's what it comes down to. So the Indie PlayStation 2019 bundle, just before we get started, I have to say this one is not set up for European users. This one is actually, it needs to have a country that's using uh, Sony Entertainment America. So you can be from Brazil or Canada or some of the other ones. There's a list of countries at the top of the page that you can check out. Literally, it just has it somewhere up there. It says, attention, requires a PSN account from this country. Uh, literally, all you have to do is just have an account from that country to be able to get these games. If you've done these videos with me before, you've actually bought the pro packages before, you will already have an American account normally because that's the way I normally buy them. So let's get into the actual games in the bundle. And for one dollar, you can get Grim Fandango Remastered, The Bard's Tale, and Inner Space. Out of the three of these titles, I know two of them quite well. Uh, back in the day, whenever Grim Fandango first came out, I purchased it and played it to uh, two-thirds of completion, I think I actually did, and made a small mini uh, animated TV series out of it, using the clips of it, and then a little bit of intro and outro. Something I did do like maybe three and a half years ago on the channel. If you want to go and check that out, it's available. There will be a playlist. Uh, listed in the description underneath the video whenever it goes up. The Bard's Tale, a snarky good old-fashioned adventure. Rather than actually being the hero of the story, you're the snarky little side character, the Bard, but still having a big adventure on himself. Remastered and re-snarkled. So I'm assuming this is actually the PC release of the Bard's Tale. Then uh, updated visually for play. I haven't played through this myself. I played through the original Bard's Tale, I think, back in the maybe the Xbox, the original Xbox era. I think that's whenever I first played it. I'm almost sure it was an, an Xbox uh, like original or an Xbox original Xbox title, and that's what the version I played was. But um, I enjoyed it back in the time. Uh, we we'll looking forward to getting a wee look at this. We may actually do a first 15s just to kind of get in the intro of it. Obviously, with being an RPG, it's a little bit longer involved, so uh, you may find yourself getting uh, deeply entrenched in this for probably 10 to 15 hours if you do get around to it. Inner Space, I am completely unaware of what this title actually is. Um, might as well throw something in the background here because we might actually have the trailer for it. So let's take a look at Inner Space's title because... It's one of those, it, it's all, so many of indie titles, if I don't get my hands on them at the time they come out, I never even hear them, I don't know any details about them, so let's take a look to see. Hopefully the fact that this actually, actually will play. Well, thank goodness it does. Make sure the audio's playing through for you guys. Yep, all good. Right. So... I have like a flighty, explorey, deep, procedurally worldy thingy. I like the design and look of it. It looks mellow. The only these things are like uh, like Abzu or uh, Journey or you know, any of these ones that are actually just a exploratory experience. You can just visit all these beautifully weird places. This looks pretty interesting. Hello. The way it's presented, it doesn't really show it as a. Is it actually like a third person, or is it a first person kind of travel or traversal? There's all these switches, things you need to do. Interesting. The inner space is a wondrous place to explore. I would not be mass. I'm not a. It's not one of those games that I like. Get unbelievably excited about playing, but it looks fun. <laughs> it looks like it's actually something worthwhile checking out. Uh, considering the fact that it's actually in the one dollar tier bundle for the set, it's. Going to be worthwhile getting along with the Bard Steel and Grim Fandango. If you've played neither of the first two, this one will be a wonderful addition to it. Uh, onto the second tier, it is actually Layers of Fear, Warrior Slam 2, Director's Cut, Talos Principle, and Broken Age. Uh, 
lot of kind of point and clicky kind of uh, searching. Uh, so we have Grim Fandango here and Barzi, which are both kind of, they're almost like point and click adventures. Um, Broken Age kind of rounds it out as a trifecta. Great fun game. One of those ones where you kind of, you're going to play through it once and probably never play it again. Whenever it got released on PS Plus back in the day, we did a full playthrough here on the channel. You can check that out or you can actually just jump into the game yourself. But obviously it's in the the ten dollar bundles in the second tier ones that are available wasteland 2 uh sequel to the original wasteland a uh, spiritual successor to the original fallout series very fun very interesting uh kind of cross it over like if you think of it in description for people who might have played the original wasteland or the original fallouts it's kind of like xcom but with a older school kind of turn-based combat experience rather than actually having overwatches and all that kind of thing still Still a good game. Actually, what's on too? Massively full of detail. A lot of content inside that. So you could actually be playing that for ages if you actually got into Wasteland 2. Um, personally, I found it a little bit more comfortable on keyboard and mouse than it was with uh, a control pad. But it's still a fun game. Layers of Fear have little to no interest in this game. Uh, it felt like a typical walkathon, scareathon designed for YouTubers to go, Oh, I'm so scared. But uh, it's a lot of people got a kick out of it. Um, I didn't. <laughs> Talos Principle, it is a first person puzzling game that actually has uh, puzzled a lot of people's brains and I think people have actually been super entertained by it. Um, it reminds me a lot of Myst from back in the day, but if people are actually into it, then feel free to check it out. Uh, I personally try, I think I did some of the puzzles at the beginning and then I just kind of like didn't feel like I was making progress or I was understanding them and I felt really stupid, so I kind of put it down. <laughs> so um, maybe it, w it wasn't the one for me, the best way to describe it. On to the last tier at $15 or more, we have Shadow Warrior 2 and Killing Floor 2. Uh, both uh, first-person shooters. Shadow Warrior 2, uh, essentially, from what I watched in the trailers for it, um, I did not remember the original Shadow Warrior, but I remembered the original Shadow Warrior because it felt like a typical 90s, they just ninjas themed, uh, or like essentially samurai ninja themed uh, mod for Quake, which was really fun to watch and entertaining to play through. I uh, never got the chance to play through Shadow Warrior 2. I'd be interested in checking this one out again here on the channel. We might do a first 15. Uh, it's one of those titles that actually I remember seeing, looking excited, excitedly looking at and going, I could get into this for a short period of time and never actually go into the bother of purchasing titles so now it's available at a much discounted price and killing floor 2 uh, people who've been playing this on pc for ages have recommended it to me i never got into killing floor and um, as far as i can remember as far as i can be told to me it's got a lot of dlc content and a lot of kind of like seasonal content that's gone through over the last few years and it's played like a um kind of like the way army of two was where it's actually less about uh, completing the levels and more about getting the highest score possible by comboing the amount of things you kill and literally being like almost like a TV show of murder is the best way to describe it. But um, the, I'm, again, Killing Floor is a game that I've never touched previously in the life, but I actually have seen it floating around in front of me so many times that I'm kind of glad to actually have a reason to check it out. So again, these two are most likely going to be for the uh, first 15 episodes here on the channel. So on top of that, included with uh, $1 or more, you get the soundtracks to a number of things. Well, $1 or more for those two, and $10 for those two. Broken Ages soundtrack is quite enjoyable. I actually like that. It's good, good chilled out listening. Uh, Inner Space, just by the design and look of the game, I'm sure its soundtrack is very, very ambient and mellow and something that you could really get into if you like meditation. And Grim Fandango has a great soundtrack as well. So like essentially three good soundtracks and one... Uh, I, I don't know how that's actually like a major soundtrack, but it's probably got spooky tunes that you could use for like a Halloween sometime if you want to have audio in the background. But these are all included in the packages as you purchase. For $15, you get all of the above. Uh, for $10, you get this and this. And for $1, you get the basic three. If you can afford $1, just for those three games, you'll get a plenty of entertainment. Uh, Bard's Tale and Grim Fandango Remastered are classics and good fun. Inner Space looks like a great little experience. Um, so I would actually, at least a tier $1 would be well worth recommended. But at $15, this is actually a pretty decent package, again, from Humble Bundle. Uh, it's not much else to say other than guys thank you very much for watching the Humble Bundle is available for the next 13 days 6 hours 30 minutes as of me putting this up I already bought my copy and uh, I already have most of the games I actually had Grim Fandango I had um, Broken Age uh, I have Wasteland 2 I had Layers of Fear from I think it was a review copy I got handed but um, I bought another copy of this just for the fact of actually supporting uh, creators and supporting the actual charities that are involved 
to make sure to actually give what you can and get what you get <laughs> from the actual bundle here on humblebundle.com. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes with more bundles, more ideas, and more games very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.